Hi guys, this is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm priming my skin with the oil because it's winter and it's really nice. It gives a really nice dewy finish. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. It's a nice liquidy, luminous foundation. I'm just going to tap that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Just make sure we're all blended. I love this technique, it gives a nice seamless finish. And I'm just setting that with some loose translucent powder from RCMA, it's the no color powder. I'm going to go on each side with the Benefit Shy Beam. It is a matte um, highlighter with a uh, salmon undertone, so perfect to conceal dark circles. And just go ahead and tap that out with the beauty sponge again. Make sure it's nice and blended. And go ahead and set it right away with some powder. Again, I use my translucent RCMA no color powder. So we're going to use the Smashbox Contour Sticks, the deepest color. We're going to start at the ear flap, that's what I said. <laughs> and you're going to draw a line down from the ear. Just one line. Along the jawline, the jawbone, and just up around the hairline. Down the side of the nose. And out around the nose fold, would you call it a nose fold? I don't know. And just a tiny bit around the tip there. I'm taking the next colour, which is the bronzing colour, and I'm drawing a line on top of the darker colour, the contour line. This is the bronze stick. And I'm taking the highlight pen, the lightest colour, and we're going underneath that contour colour. Now just above it, the middle of the forehead, the other side will be done in powder, that's what I'm trying to communicate there I guess. And I like to put it just a little bit there because I have a little bit of an indentation there so it will pop it out. So I'm going to take the beauty sponge again and I'm just going to start blending the lighter colours. The bronze, sorry. Now we're going to blend out the contours. Turn your sponge sideways and just keep blending. We're going to blend the colours separately so it doesn't turn into a big muddy mud pile. <laughs> So just keep blending, then go in for your lighter colours, turning the sponge around so you actually use a clean side of the sponge each time. And your sponge is wet by the way too, you blending out the nose highlight, no, it's the nose contour, sorry, sorry it's very late at night. I did film this but my microphone, this is the second time I filmed it, but my microphone the second time around ran out of battery. So I'm just highlighting the top of my nose and I like to blend these products with fingers, you can do with fingers and I'm just going to go a little bit more under the eye there because I felt like my bags were on fleek. So this is the powder side, this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Powder Contour Kit and I'm going to start at the same spot, sort of like at the ear flap. Start with small amounts and build from there. So you're creating your deepest line with the deepest contour colour. Just under the cheekbone with the deepest colour. Now we're taking the bronze colour on a little bit of a, this is actually a blush brush, a little bit bigger. Just above the line again. And just start with small amounts, keep going up into the forehead. Just keep adding, keep blending along the jawline. Keep going back in, keep blending until you get the desired colour payoff. Now I'm just taking my powder and I'm popping it underneath the deepest line, the contour. And I'm going to go straight ahead and just dust it off. 
I don't really need to bake. It just makes my skin dry baking, but if you had all your skin, you could definitely do. So I have a angled brush into the bronzing color, sorry. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side of my nose. Sculpt it around. That's what I'm trying to say, but I couldn't because my mic was turned off. But I'm saying it now, so <laughs> then take a clean brush. Always have a clean brush handy with a little bit of your powder, whether it be pressed or loose, and blend everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and just set everything the contour, the cream contour side, and a little bit on the powdery side. So that's cream contour side, and this is the powder contour side. What do you guys think? What do you like better? Do you like powder? Do you like cream? Creams blend better, powders last longer. I'm just um, adding some more blush, obviously added some brows and an eye look, some highlight, just so you can see the complete look and how it would go. Some more highlight, of course, on the Cupid's bow and adding a little bit of a lighter blush just to the inner apple of the cheek. And there we have it. What do you guys think? Powder? Cream? Thanks for watching.